Right now, a passenger is in custody after officers handcuffed him and took him off a plane at Epley Airfield. The Virgin America flight was on its way to L.A. from Boston when it made an emergency landing in Omaha. People started taking pictures like this one and tweeting them out. Right now, investigators know what caused the change in plans. We're going to get that from KETV News Watch 7's Amanda Crawford live at Epley Airfield. Well, Melissa, I just got the report from Omaha police about what happened. They say the call came in as some passenger having some sort of mental breakdown on the flight. The report says the passenger was touching himself inappropriately and then tried to open a door. The only offense listed on the report, though, is sickness. So uh, I talked to passengers about the flight, and they say about an hour after takeoff is when a flight attendant said a passenger was having medical problems and asked for a doctor. They moved that passenger to the back of the plane, and shortly after that is when they landed here at Epley. Now, check out this video. This is video you'll only see on KETV. The passenger in question coming out of the interrogation room at Epley in handcuffs. Officers led him down the hallway into the airport police office. We also saw him taken away in an Omaha police cruiser. The U.S. Attorney's Office says he left Epley and went to a hospital for observation. I talked to one man who was on the plane and says that passenger was not really loud or really violent. About an hour into the flight, uh, the, one of the flight attendants came on over the intercom and uh, said that we have a medical emergency on board, so if uh, any doctors could come up. Now, I just just now got a text from one Omaha police officer who says all agencies are going to review this incident to determine if there will be any charges. Right now, again, that suspect or that passenger, rather, is at a hospital for observation. Uh, we're going to keep you posted on any other updates we get at 6 o'clock tonight at 10 and then online at KETV.com. Back to you. All right.